Hey guys, welcome back to Funtime Crafts 24-7. This is a project share video. This is take number 567,000. Um, anyways, <laughs> uh, I've tried to make this video like five times and it just, it doesn't come out. I get tongue-tied and then I, yeah, <laughs> I blow it. <laughs> Hopefully this one takes. Uh, so I entered a... Uh, swap on VNA Creates YouTube channel. She did is doing a altered case bead and charm swap. Uh, her theme is a charming year. So all you had to do was pick up a few cases this size from the Dollar Tree, uh, embellish the top with the theme a charming year, add an embellishment on the tag that's on the end of the box, whether a dangle, a tassel, a tag, whatever you wanted to do there, and then fill the case with. Um, the four seasons of the year, so spring, summer, fall, and winter. And um, aside of that, you could basically do whatever you want. She had a full tutorial on her YouTube channel of how to do it, how to embellish it, what to fill it with, and what to hang off of it. And uh, it was super fun, super easy, and uh, I had a really good time. Uh, you had the option to send in two or four, whatever you liked. I'm sending in two. I'm actually sending in three, one for her, and then the the two for the swap um I do that just because um I have a limited amount of time and then the time that I do have I really try to put my best work out there and so for me that's putting the most time into each one that I possibly can and that way if I have to uh, alter it change things up, redo it, whatever the case may be, I have time to do that rather than rushing through it. I can enjoy the whole process, which your enjoyment runs through your project and you can tell that it's there uh, or you can tell if you rushed it. And I don't like it when things look rushed. So I, I like to take my take my time and, and thoroughly enjoy it and which I did. This was so fun. Um, so uh, I ended up uh, while I was uh, scrolling for uh a good reason to shop, which is new beads. <laughs> While I was on Joanne's hitting a giant sale, it was so fun. It was like 50 to 60% off their gorgeous beads and charms and stuff. Um, I saw a bead on there that reminded me of the ocean. And I thought to myself as I was scrolling through hunting for beads, I wonder if I could actually do this project uh, in a color theme. And so I ended up uh, doing my charming year in navy blue. The color palette is navy blue, turquoise, and green. So from like navy blue to green in the turquoise family and uh, with an accent of gold um, and so, some gold and white. But, you know, white's kind of a, you know, your thing you can add. It's, your, it's like your freebie color, you know. Um, gold's kind of the same thing, maybe, eh, not necessarily. Um, but so my accent was gold and, uh, I thought we did a pretty good job. Um, I thought it actually came out pretty, pretty darn fun, pretty cute and represented charming. At least for me, this is my version of charming. Uh, what, what isn't charming about a castle, right? <laughs> so, um, I thought this actually came out super fun. So this is V&A's, um, swap that she gets to open. Uh, I embellished the outside of the case with uh, some white ruffled trim, just hot glued it down, added a gold uh, gemmed uh, trim on the top of that, uh, topped uh, the middle of the box with a piece of Heartfelt Creations uh, paper. It's, I think it's the uh, star it's the star paper pad, the one that came out like a couple months ago. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it's, 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 a it's color, um, it's colors in that were blue and like purple actually. And it is gorgeous. And I think there were some snowflakes and stuff in it as well. Music notes, that kind of thing is beautiful paper, just gorgeous. So, um, so I, I topped it with that. Um, my, this is an Anna Griffin paper ornament die. It's out of the Create 8, but you can actually buy the sets off of HSN. So I cut that, that out in a Sizzix pearlescent white paper, uh, topped that on a navy blue embossed background, then uh, did the detail in Anna Griffin matte gold, which I thought that just came out super cute. Uh, embellished the top of that gold trim with some Little Birdie Crafts uh, handmade paper flowers. Uh... Then I brushed over the top of that, actually sponged on some Artist Loft iridescent medium paint. This stuff is gorgeous. It goes on white, 
but it dries a little more translucent and so glimmery, so sparkly and beautiful. Um, I don't think the camera can pick it up, but in like real life, it is absolutely beautiful. It It is gorgeous. Um, I don't know if you can see the shimmer on there, but yeah, I love this stuff. It is, it is so pretty. Um, so dusted it with that, sponged it on, and then just sprinkled a few different size pearls around, hot glued those on, and then some four millimeter pearl trim. I just kind of intertwined around everything and hot glued that on as well. Uh, I've got a label maker, a brother label maker that I uh, did a charming year 2022 in, cut it apart and popped it on there and thought that finished it off just nicely. And so that's what the top looks like. That's my charming year. Super fun, super pretty. Um, so for my embellishment on the little tag piece, I did a super large uh, lobster claw little key ring and added um, some uh, strands of beads basically uh, part of my haul I was like the cubbies in the little box are so dainty they're really petite little things um, these little cubbies are so tiny um, I couldn't really do like a full strand of beads in in each of the little compartments so I just took some full strands of beads took them off the paper hangers let me show you um, basically I took them, I took it off this like paper hanger and then the beads are actually strung on fishing line in a loop. So I put a jump ring on the, on that plastic fishing line loop and then put the jump ring onto the, the keychain ring. And then, um, I just loop some through the keychain. I just loop some like seam binding, lace, little eyelash trims, little gold trim, uh, with the beads to make it look like it was a day, um, it was a, um, you know, uh, uh, a, a ribbon dangle and, I uh, thought this actually came out super fun, but then it's also, uh, super usable. You could untie the bow and then take these off and use them on, uh, whatever projects that the recipient would want to use them on and just thought it came out just super fun, really nice and usable. <laughs> it was just a fun way to add some more beads, um, for a bead swap. <laughs> and uh, so there's that. That's my little uh, dangle embellishment. And so then on the inside, uh, my charming year uh, for all the four seasons, um, I decided that um, I I went with that same colorway and thought it came out actually really cool. Um, so the top of it, though, um, the backside of this beautiful blue paper was actually purple and I didn't want that on the inside. So I wanted to stick, stick with this color theme. And so I put a piece of Anna Griffin matte gold on there and then cut another layering panel to put on top of that to stick with the color theme. Uh, so here, uh, we have, uh, our little beads and gems and everything. So basically for spring, I did flowers uh, beautiful porcelain blue and white bead, uh, flower beads. Um, I found these great little, uh, silk flower pearl dangles. I added a few of those in the different little spaces. Um, added some little bee metal charms, uh, metal enamel white, uh, porcelain flower, uh, another little rose, a little polymer clay flower there. And, uh, thought, you know, that was representative of spring, you know, uh, this, I thought these butterflies, um, were, are reflective of spring as well. And, uh, this is what I actually used on the front and there's a little hole right there between the antlers. Um, so you could actually dangle these, um, same with this silver one, little butterfly. There's a few other little butterflies in, uh, metal charms in there, uh, added some of these gold little bead toppers. I thought those were really pretty. Um, to there and uh where did that other one go does that one go there i don't know so there we go i uh, uh i don't know if that one's there or not <laughs> okay then i don't know where i was so and then so that's all spring so then summer um I always think of the ocean and flip-flops and sea, you know, sea animals and, you know, ocean, 
ocean animals and stuff like that. And so um, this actually here, this glass bead right here, this is what actually um, launched the color theme was this because this reminded me of the ocean. And it's supposed to be like a starfish or something like a starfish glass bead. But it just looks like the ocean to me. And I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And uh, the rest of these little beads were on this bead strand. So I put as many off the strand as I could in there. And then in this one here, um, another one of those little pearl flowers. Um, I just love the material and the softness that this adds that textural element to the inside of the case. I just thought it, it just made it really nice. Um, and so there's little turtles, little mermaid tails and then what is summer without flip-flops come on <laughs> so cute and then these beads right here they remind me of ocean waves and they're absolutely gorgeous like the color is so beautiful like the ocean in fiji or something white sand beaches and stuff so pretty so pretty and then there's a few other little metal you know charms and things that are in there and i thought really indicative of the beach and uh summer summer fun in the beach <laughs> so there's that and then uh so going into fall uh I always think of like fall is like for me is like falling leaves um the days getting longer so stars dark night um owls we get a pair of owls in the fall uh, that roost in our pine tree so I always think of owls or dragonflies things like that so I went that way so a couple more of those little flowers. Um, and so I have some little gold metal leaves, feathers, because it's like warm and cozy. Um, so I got a couple of those, a couple of like beautiful gemmed up metal stars, these gorgeous little owls with like abalone on their little bellies. They're silver and you can dangle like the top and the bottom with those. They're really fun. And then uh, some abalone shell leaves. And then some smaller white ones down there. So I thought those were pretty cool. Um, let's see. Uh, the other... So that's that's in there. And so then the other thing I did was um, uh, dragonflies. I have these cute little dragonflies in here. They're a little metal with a little gem and abalone again. They're gold. Really beautiful. And then I found these leaves. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Um... They're green, but they have a gorgeous iridescent like blue on the top of them. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And it brings that color theme through the whole thing and even into the leaves. Um, in these green leaves, I thought it was just super fun and so pretty. And then down here is also some, a couple of, a few little small glass green lighter green leaves which I thought were pretty cute pretty fun uh, so that's what's in that one let's get our little dragonflies back in there so super cute so sticking with the theme of the blue and white and green and gold I went with white and gold because I found these uh, for the winter these gorgeous porcelain um, white and gold snowflaked beads. I thought they were beautiful. So I tried to put a full strand in there, but I couldn't make it. Um, and there's the little gold spacer beads down in there. A couple gold bead caps that I could like finagle in there. And then these gorgeous like marbleized glittery um, white beautiful beads. Those are gorgeous. And they just went with the snowflakes. I thought they were super pretty. And then to be super fun, um, I found, which was so cool... Uh, these great little um, glass blue snowmans. Oh, aren't those so cute? And they're glass. They're so fun. So I got those on this same strand where these beads. And these are like a really cool glass square bead, which are super unusual. So I added as many of those as I could. And then to top it off, I did a snowflake. Like, right, that's winter, that's cold. And it, so it's got a beautiful gems on it. And you can dangle from the top and the bottom. So I thought that was pretty fun. Um, a bunch of these, I actually had to either unstring them or I had to actually take them apart. Because that was the thing. You couldn't have them, um, like, they couldn't be connected or anything. So I ended up having to take all these apart. Like, all these and those, they were all strung together. Because they were from Joann's. They all come on, like, these like these types of strings. So if you can't cut it and get them off, if they're all attached by, like, 
jump rings, you have to undo them all. So that's what I did. Well, you had to do it anyways, because they wouldn't have fit. Like I tried to put a full strand in there and it would not go. <laughs> so it, it, it worked out that I had to take them apart anyways, like these, because I thought these were so fun. I tried to put a strand in there, like a full strand, because this came with the gold starfish and they were all connected by jump rings, but you couldn't put it in there. So I had to do that. Oh, wow. They're all upside down. They're looking janky. Come on, little turtle. Flip over. Flip over, you guys. Get pretty in there. Come on now. Show your best. Um, So there we go. And then down here, these are super fun because, you know, winter is also Christmas. And these remind me of ornaments. These little glass beads, aren't they just gorgeous with those stripes and stuff? They look like something you'd hang on your tree. How fun is that, right? And so I put some of the accent beads um, that came on the um, green ones. I just love this green. And it brought that pop of color that you needed across the the space. Because um, I was just going to do these, a gold and silver. But it was kind of boring. It needed a, a color. So I added... Oh, whoops. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Okay, there. And then this one goes here. So I so I added the green and I thought that like really did the job. It made it look really fun. And so yeah, and so on these strands were these like cool little metal ones and those spacer beads and stuff. So I added as many of those as I could, but to get it closed, you have to like be careful. So then over here, which I didn't tell you about these, um, this just went with the color um theme. So and this is gorgeous. And I thought, oh, I got to add as many of these as I can. But I could only put one in there. And so then I just ended up adding some of the other beads that were on the strand. And um, they're really cool. Like, they're so neat. Like, the different ones that were on it. Like, look how fun those are. And then these flat spacer ones. <gasps> so cool. Those are really neat. And then look at this one. Like, how neat is that, right? It is beautiful. I love how it's cut. I love the shape. Yeah, so you have to be like really careful with this one or this lid will not close. It gets ornery. <laughs> so yeah. And so then in the middle for the little pieces, um, the connector pieces you had to add, I had these little glass jars. So this is all different colors of jump rings. Uh, this uh, Tim Holtz tube, this glass tube has like head pins and eye pins of varying sizes. And then these I added lobster clasps here. There's like some magnetic ones. These come apart and has a lobster clasp on each end. Um, these are little rose uh, lobster, magnetic lobster clasps. There's a silver and a gold one there. And then there's some heart lobster clasps. Ah, hold on. Wait, wait for it like this like these are kind of large but we do lots of tangles on her swaps and stuff so I thought it was a good size to add but look at these oh they're for like necklaces and bracelets and stuff how fun right so there's a couple of those in there and so that's it that's it for the inside and I think I think this emulates the four seasons you might not see it with the color palette but if you just kind of look you can kind of go Oh, okay. Flowers, spring, flip-flops, summer. I get that. Leaves, fall, you know, yada, yada. So I thought it was pretty fun. Yeah. So, and then I love the colorway. I think it actually just, I think it came out really cool. And with the dangle and stuff and the fact that you can actually use this or you can just keep it and have, have it hanging off of something that's fun. <laughs> Either way. Yeah, I thought it just came out really cool. So, anyways, let me know what you think of the uh, uh, swap down in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this project share. Hope you guys are having a fabulous week. Um, hope to catch you guys at the Anna Griffin. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the whole thing, but I'll be there for a few hours. Um, hopefully, each of the days. Um, hopefully, I can say hi to you guys um, if, if I can find you in there. And... Um, yeah, that should be super fun. And then, um, oh, and I joined um, VNA's uh, Loaded Pocket one, her new one, the Home for the Holidays one. I cannot wait to do that one. I might even craft that one during the Anna Griffin one because I don't like to follow. I don't like to craft and do that one at the same time because it goes so stinking fast. And it's just more fun to to watch and to chat with everybody and things like that. So that'll be like really cool because then I can like, 
daydream about like what I'm crafting and then watch that. It'll be just fun. Anyways, hope hope you guys are doing good. Hope you're having a great week. Sorry I'm babbling. <laughs> Let me know if you enjoyed the project share and uh, what you think down in the comments below. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out and until next time, happy crafting everyone. Bye-bye.